date a couple of times with David. I met him online and on our first date, we hit it off really, really well. And I'm like, do you want to live polygamy? And he's like, no, gosh, no, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Sister wives Robin Brown spends Christmas Eve in tears on the bathroom floor. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my update gossip channel. The October 13th episode of Sister Wives centers around Mary seeking to break free from her marriage to Cody, sparking conversations about their complicated relationship. Her request sheds light on the ongoing struggles and shifts within the family, highlighting the challenges of navigating. Plural marriage. Cody and Robin visit McKelty, who eats her placenta raw. The episode opens with Cody and Robin Brown visiting McKelty after she gave birth to her twins. Cody, expressing fondness for McKelty and her husband Tony Padron, suggests the idea of buying a large house with guest rooms so that McKelty and her family could visit frequently. I'm doing great, McKelty shares about her recovery, noting that she has eaten her placenta raw, which has helped her postpartum journey. Robin supports her daughter's choice, adding, it helps like crazy with postpartum depression. McKelty recalls a similar experience after the birth of her first child, daughter Avalon, explaining that she actually took a bite of the raw placenta then, but this time she's consuming it in capsule form. It's helped a lot, she says, emphasizing the positive impact it has had on her recovery. Not everyone in the family is on board with this practice, though. In a confessional, Mary Brown expresses her disgust at the idea. The whole placenta thing, no, she says, nearly gagging. It's really gross. No, no, in no way, shape, or form. Christine Brown, on the other hand, has a different perspective. Initially, she found the idea disgusting, but now wishes she had tried it after having her children. I wish so badly I would have known about eating your placenta, encapsulated placenta, Christine admits. I would have done it in a heartbeat. Surprisingly, Robin reveals that. She was the first of the sister wives to adopt the placenta eating trend. It was something my midwife suggested to me and I just thought I'd try it, Robin says during her confessional. Gabe calls out Cody over accountability issues. Janelle Brown and her son Gabriel Gabe sit down for an honest conversation, with Gabe making his frustrations clear over how his father Cody has handled the family dynamics since the split. Gabe doesn't hold back as he reveals details of their strange relationship. While making breakfast with Janelle, Gabe explains that Cody had recently reached out to him. He hit me up, Gabe says. It was strange because he was like, hey, I miss you, and then kept phrasing it like I owed him an apology. The tension escalated when Gabe responded, saying, unless you're actually ready to have a relationship and fix things, then we're not going to talk anymore. According to Gabe, Cody came back a few days later with a text that said, I forgive you, please forgive me. Gabe, puzzled by the message, responded, forgive me for what? Gabe makes it clear where he stands, stating, I told dad that if he doesn't change and he can't take accountability, then I just won't ever see him again. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Janelle acknowledges the difficulty of repairing their family dynamic. I don't know what it would take at this point to get things back on track, she says, pointing out that the family is now scattered across the country. Gabe adds that it would take an act of God for Cody to truly set things straight. Reflecting on the situation, Janelle believes that the COVID-19 quarantine period only accelerated Cody's desire to focus on his relationship with his favorite wife, Robin. Their dad had been expressing things to them, like, he wished he had waited and just married Robin, she explains. Meanwhile, Gabe voices his feelings toward Robin, stating, I think that Robin definitely has a victim complex. To put it bluntly, he expresses disappointment that his relationship with her has deteriorated, adding, if she actually believes that we were mistreating her or her children when she was constantly being favored by dad, then there's no chance of me having a relationship with Robin ever again. Another emotional storyline in this episode follows Mary as she makes the decision to formally end her marriage to Cody. After years of estrangement, Mary reaches out to their church to request a release from her spiritual marriage, 
which began in 1990 and continued after their 2014 legal divorce. Cody reveals that he received a call from the church leader informing him of Mary's request. They said a few other things that I don't want to disclose that sort of upset me, Cody shares during the episode. Mary, however, opens up about what was said, revealing, they did say that it was on the grounds of abandonment. And I know he doesn't like that word because he doesn't feel like he abandoned me. I feel like he did. Cody admits that he stayed in the marriage longer than he should have, citing Robin's encouragement as a reason for waiting. Robin felt that if I waited on God, things could change between me and Mary, he explains, adding, I'm sorry to Mary for that. I wish I would have figured it out sooner. Cody also confesses that fear kept him from ending the marriage. I had moved on a long time ago. But let's just be honest here. I was afraid of what she would do if I ripped off that band-aid. In her confessional, Mary responds, It's really just sad that Cody's talking about our marriage the way that he's talking about it. It feels like the narrative has changed with him. Gabriel calls out Robin for ruining his family. As Janelle and Gabriel continue their candid discussion, the focus shifts to Robin, whom Gabe holds partially responsible for the family's fallout. There's a lot of anger toward Robin, Janelle reveals in her confessional. They feel like Robin is always twisting things around. Gabriel echoes his mother's sentiments, adding, I just don't have a lot of respect for Robin, so it's hard for me to rationalize some of her actions. Despite Gabe's harsh assessment, Cody comes to Robin's defense. Robin always strongly supported my relationships with the whole family, Cody insists. He also claims that Robin had been actively trying to mend her relationships with the other wives, describing Janelle as a relationship coward. Gabe, however, remains unconvinced. If Robin believes that we mistreated her or her kids, there's no hope of a relationship. Robin spends Christmas Eve in tears. The episode takes an emotional turn when Robin, Cody's only remaining wife, is seen breaking down in tears on Christmas Eve. In a confessional, Robin shares how devastated she feels as this is the first Christmas without the rest of the family. This was the first Christmas since I married Cody that I won't have any other family around except for me, my kids, and Cody, she says tearfully. Reflecting on her lifelong dream of being part of a plural family, Robin reveals, this isn't what I envisioned my life to be. I'm struggling with my identity. As the episode closes, both Christine and Janelle focus on creating new traditions in their lives, while Cody remains hopeful that he and Robin can push through the pain. This woman has a spine of concrete and steel, Cody says, acknowledging Robin's determination to hold on to the dream of their family. Gabe Brown gave Dad Cody Brown a strict ultimatum amid their estranged relationship. On the Sunday October 13th, episode of Sister Wives, Gabe opened up to mom Janelle Brown about a rare conversation he had with Cody when the family patriarch hit him up. It was, like, strange because he was like, hey, I miss you, and then he was. Like, he kept, like, phrasing it like I owed him an apology, Gabe, 23, shared. Eventually, I was just like, hey, unless you're, like, actually ready to have a relationship and fix things, then we're not going to talk anymore. He came back a couple of days later and texted me. He's like, hey, I've been, like, thinking about what you've been saying. I forgive you. Please forgive me. I was like, forgive me for what? Like, what's going on here? Gabe and Cody's relationship became particularly strained amid the COVID-19 pandemic when they had different opinions about what health guidelines they needed to follow. Since Gabe and his brother Garrison Brown were not adhering to Cody's strict rules, he refused to see them. Many family members, including Janelle, 55, and Christine Brown, accused Cody, 55, of favoring Robin Brown and her kids during this time, but he's insisted he was only spending more time with them because they were the ones following the same guidelines as him. I told Dad that if he doesn't change and he can't take accountability, then I just won't ever see him again, Gabe said. And I'm perfectly okay with that. When Janelle wondered what it would take to get the family back on track, Gabe admitted, I think it would take Dad really setting things straight, and I think that that would take an act of God. Gabe accused Robin, 46, of having a victim complex, 
but said he didn't blame her for it. If she actually believes that we were mistreating her or her children in any way when she was constantly getting favorited by dad and we were always working on our relationship with her kids, if she actually believes that, then there's no chance of me having a relationship with Robin ever again, Gabe admitted. I don't know. I just, I don't have a lot of respect for Robin, so it's hard for me to rationalize some of her actions. While this episode was filmed nearly two years ago, Cody was still estranged from Gabe and Garrison when Garrison died by suicide in March. He was just 25 years old at the time of his death. The only regret I have is just take advantage of time, Cody told people in September. I want to go out to dinner again. I want to sit down. I want to have a beer. I want Garrison to try and make me laugh because he was that way. The only regret is just, gosh, I would just do that more often. Sister Wives star Mary Brown claimed that ex-husband Cody Brown ghosted her when she texted him about officially ending their marriage. It's been an interesting year, Mary, 53, said in a confessional during the Sunday October 13th episode before reflecting on her split from Cody, 55. I really, really felt like that he was just doing everything he could to have me be the one to leave so that he could say, my hands are clean. She's the one who left. The longtime reality star then explained her decision to move forward with the official termination through the church where we had gotten married, adding that she reached out to Cody to see if he had any input. However, she said he never responded to her text. Mary and Cody legally divorced in 2014 so that he could legally marry Robin Brown and adopt her kids from a previous relationship. Despite their legal separation, Mary and Cody remained in a spiritual marriage until they confirmed their split in January 2023. During the latest episode, Mary drove to Utah for a meeting with church leaders and she was granted a release from the marriage. It's basically the equivalent of a divorce, she explained. It was a very, very hard conversation. This is not what I wanted to do. This is not what I intended when I married Cody. Mary then shared that the spiritual ceiling of their relationship was still intact following their 2014 divorce. When we marry, it is for eternity, she explained. That's the intention. By terminating the spiritual union, Mary and Cody no longer have anything that keeps us together for eternity. She added, we are no longer married in any way, shape or form. She then explained that the church granted the release on the grounds of abandonment. While Mary said she agreed with the reasoning, she admitted that Cody wouldn't be happy with that description. Robin felt that if I waited on God, that things could change for mine and Mary's relationship, Cody said in his own confessional. And that was advice that I took, and I waited. As time went on, I realized that it was never really going to work. He added that he was sorry to marry for that, and he wished he would have figured it out sooner. After they were officially released from their marriage, Mary explained she wanted a clean slate and removed every photo of herself and Cody from her house. Meanwhile, Robin, 45, said that the brown patriarch was emotional over the downfall of his plural family and claimed he shed tears about the fact that he and Mary are splitting. However, Cody was seemingly at peace while discussing his and Mary's split in his own confessional. I'm absolutely relieved that it's done, he insisted. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. But I am relieved that it's done. I had moved on a long time ago, but let's just be honest here. I was afraid of what she'd do if I ripped off that band-aid. Because Mary was never loyal to me, ever. He then admitted that he was most concerned about his reputation because reputation is trash after getting divorced sister wives stars christine brown and janelle brown revealed the most devastating part of their family rift following their splits from ex-husband cody brown it's devastating to have your kids have daddy issues christine 52 told the news on thursday october 10th to have kids who struggle with their dad it's really really hard because I would love it if they have a good relationship with him. But I just tell them, you know, you gotta accept him where he's at and you need to love him where he's at. After fans watched Cody, 55, call out daughter Madison Brush, nay. Brown, for spreading, gossip, 
During the October 6th episode, Janelle, 55, said that their daughter was just one example of how their children are feeling about their father. He has really distanced himself from them, she added. The former sister wives then reflected on Cody's relationship with Janelle's daughter Savannah, revealing that he hasn't seen her in a year. Janelle explained that Savannah, 19, understands that she needs to keep her relationship with her father on a superficial level and the teen has acknowledged that she's grateful to have so many older brothers to look up to amid Cody's absence. In addition to Maddie, 28, and Savannah, Janelle and Cody share kids Logan, Gabe and Hunter. They also shared son Robert Garrison, who died at the age of 25 in March after he committed suicide. Meanwhile, Christine shares kids Aspen, McKelty, Peden, Gwendolyn, Isabel and Truly with Cody. The Brown patriarch also shares one child with ex-Mary, Brown and five children with his last remaining wife, Robin Brown. During the latest episode of the TLC show, Cody reflected on his estranged relationships from his adult children following his spiritual divorces. They're purposefully leaving me out of their lives to punish me for a crime I did not commit, he said in the episode, which was filmed in 2022. I am only guilty of not falling madly in love with their mothers. Also during the episode, Janelle explained that their children, specifically Maddie, had issues with Cody's lack of involvement in their grandchildren's lives. However, Cody argued that it was an unrealistic expectation for grandparents to be in the grandchildren's lives. Especially if you move your children to an entirely different coast, he continued, adding that Maddie intensified the tension between him and Janelle. Christine was the first of Cody's wives to leave their polygamous relationship in November 2021, followed by Janelle in December 2022 and Mary in January 2023. While reflecting on their lives today during the interview, Christine told the outlet that she and Janelle are currently living their best lives. It's nice to start over again in a new chapter. We're also just starting over, Christine, who married husband David Woolley in October 2023 said. Janelle then reflected on her relationship with Christine, pointing out that they remained close after their splits. She said that, Christine is creating new memories with David, 60, while Janelle has a whole new life that she's creating for herself. I feel like we're more independent now than we ever were and just life's exciting, Christine added. Sister Wives star Cody Brown visited with Janelle Brown on last week's episode and the cramped space this wife calls home didn't slip by the viewers of this TLC series. Some thought Cody might have tried to save face after realizing how his second wife was living especially since he and Robin Brown occupy a home with rooms that just ramble on and on. Sister Wives, Cody Brown notices Janelle Brown tight on space. Janelle Brown told Cody Brown that the kids secured a rental home in Flagstaff for the holidays. After getting a good look around her apartment it became apparent to Sister Wives viewers that she had no other choice. Still, Cody and Robin Brown likely have enough room for all 18 of his kids if he chooses to invite them. But it, looks like that won't happen. Janelle's apartment is so full of stuff that it appears there's not even enough room for people to stand side by side. Janelle Brown told the sister wives patriarch that Hunter was going to stay with her. But Cody Brown looked around as if he was wondering where she could put him. Janelle took one on the chin for the family. Sister wives viewers say they are sad to see Janelle living among stacked storage boxes. Her worries over paying off Coyote. Pass, come first. For that reason, she didn't go into a high-end home like Cody and Robin. She took a small rental instead. So, to save the family's finances Janelle hunkered down for the winter in a very tiny place. But no one else did. Things were so cramped that Cody knocked stuff over when he tried to put a cup on the kitchen counter. It didn't slip by the fans that during his alone time on the camera, he mentioned Janelle Brown. He declared that he gave Janelle the same option, as he and Robin had. She could have bought a house but instead settled on the small apartment. But what the sister wives patriarch left out is that Janelle did this for the sake of the family's finances. Which is something that didn't seem to worry Cody and Robin Brown enough to stop them from buying a luxurious and spacious home. Sister wives, fans pull Cody apart. Viewers were furious at what they witnessed in Janelle's apartment on Sunday night's show. 
But before Cody even started to fight with wife number two, fans became enraged over the tiny space Janelle Brown calls home. Cody first sits down in a corner when he arrives, and he's surrounded by stuff. There are boxes, dishes, and well, all kinds of stuff. But he showed no shame in having a woman he's been married to for almost three decades living in such tight quarters. As well as his teenage daughter. Sister Wives fans suggest that it must have dawned on the father of 18 that he looked like. An ogre coming from his castle. So, he made all kinds of excuses as to why Janelle Brown was there. He explained why she was not in a home comparable to the house that he shares with his fourth wife. But it didn't hold water for the fans of the show. Some became so disgusted that they could not see another season happening with Cody being part of it. Fans are fed up with this man who many call, selfish, and a, narcissist. Instead, they want to see the original three wives start. Their new lives on a TLC series dedicated to their future after Cody Brown. Sister Wives star Cody Brown comes off as a tough guy when he talks about his wives leaving, but when he walks away, this TLC celebrity looks like he's hurting. Today, it appears that Christine Brown's engagement could cause him some pain after all. Sister Wives Cody Brown lacks Teflon coating. Cody Brown did his little dance at Janelle Brown's house this week. He was fresh off the heartache of losing Christine. Brown when Janelle kicked him out as well. The Sister Wives learned on Sunday's episode that Cody thought Christine was bluffing in the beginning. But he found out too late that she wasn't. This came from his whining to his friends and brother during the gathering of Cody's guy pals. But did he learn from that? Fans say it doesn't look like he did. Cody played the same game with Janelle Brown this week on Sister Wives. But once he was done at Janelle's house, Cody came home. With his head hanging low. So, fans say it's obvious he's hurting over Janelle as well, at this point in the season. He referred to his second wife as the Teflon Queen and this is something that got back to her. But in this case, fans think he could use a little Teflon coating himself. More than one way to ask for divorce. Despite looking like a man surrounded by doom and gloom, Cody doesn't back down. Janelle explained that to save face he won't admit he's wrong. Instead, he thinks he leaves his wives soaking in his awful words upon departing. But when the sister wife's camera catches him alone, well, he looks like a guy in despair. On Sunday night's Sister Wives episode, Janelle suggested that there is more than one way to end a marriage. Instead of Cody initiating it, he works on his wives until they are left with no option but to make the move to leave him. Janelle accused him of doing the same thing to Mary Brown and Christine. Now he is doing it to her. She said that he pushed them out of their marriages. Sister Wives Cody jealous over Christine Brown's new guy. Sister Wives fans can clearly see that young Truly Brown is starting to take after her mother. In a new social media update, Christine revealed Truly enjoys baking. But on top of that, she really enjoys spending time in the kitchen with others. Christine Brown always loved how food brings people together. So what better way to bond with David's family than to invite his granddaughters to join in on the fun? Like most children, Truly Brown wasn't quite sure how she felt about getting a stepdad at first. But it seems like she and David Woolley took time to bond. Now that Christine and David celebrated their first wedding anniversary, the family is closer than ever before. Blended families take a lot of time and energy to be successful. It seems like it's all paying off. Okay, so they are blueberry pancakes, not banana pancakes. Look, how cute they are cooking with Truly. I read them this book and then we made the recipe on the back. My kind of day. Christine captioned a sweet post on Instagram. In the images, Truly guides two little girls along as they bake. The girls are presumably David's grandchildren. Christine's Instagram users loved seeing Truly helping the girls in the kitchen. Without a doubt, they're all making great memories together. Instagram users commented, I love that Truly is cooking. With them. Just like her mama. I'll look at truly sharing the love and help to children in your family like what she had with all her older siblings. She's a beauty, truly in her auntie era. Truly playing the role of Christine watching over her little chickadee, nurturing and teaching. Love. Quote, Cody Brown's kids learn to live without him. 
While the older Brown family children mourn relationships with their father, truly never had a relationship with Cody like they did. She was born during the show's first season. And by then, many cracks in the family's foundation started forming. In a new interview, Janelle Brown revealed Savannah planned to ask her brothers to walk her down the aisle at her future wedding instead of Cody. Truly may very well take the same route. She may even possibly ask David if their father-daughter relationship continues to grow. This season on Sister Wives, viewers are learning quite a bit about the Brown family's inner workings. Mary Brown even revealed she breastfed another child that wasn't biologically her own. In the episode, Christine played off the rumors about polygamous women breastfeeding their sister wives' kids. But Mary and Robin revealed there is some truth to it after all. During the new Sister Wives episode, Tony and McKelty Padron joked around with Christine Brown. They asked if she ever breastfed another sister wife's baby, to which Christine adamantly denied. But confessionals reveal that it's not uncommon in the AUB circles. Women would breastfeed each other's babies in our culture, Robin claimed in the episode. I've seen it plenty of times. Absolutely. It's more out of necessity and help and you know, the community of women being supportive to each other about their children. Mary Brown then admitted she breastfed another child other than Leon out of necessity. I actually breastfed one of our kids that was not my own child, the TLC star. Shared in a confessional, and that was something that was kind of medically necessary at the time. But it wasn't something that we did on a regular basis just for fun, just for kicks and giggles. Mary didn't elaborate or reveal which child she breastfed. But fans can narrow it down to a few children. Christine's oldest daughter Aspen is four months older than Mary's only child, Leon. Janelle's daughter Maddie is four months younger than Leon, and Christine's daughter McKelty is 11 months younger than Leon. Aspen, Maddie, and McKelty are the most likely candidates. However, Janelle also revealed in the episode she struggled to produce enough milk. Therefore, it seems likely Mary breastfed Maddie when she was a baby. The TLC star received an official release from the church. Mary Brown has been a polarizing figure in the Sister Wives fandom for years. However, most don't believe she deserves the poor treatment from Cody. That's exactly why viewers found Sunday night's episode so satisfying. After asking the AUB for an official release, Mary Brown got her wish in the last laugh. Janelle and Christine said they didn't believe in the church anymore so they didn't feel a need to ask for a release. However, they praised Mary for doing it and severing ties with Cody for good. Another thing that the Sister Wives patriarch made clear is that he's likely going to feel some jealousy if Christine finds a new man. Well, she did, and while the Sister Wives season isn't that far along yet, he seemed to offer a spoiler without even knowing it. Maybe he didn't think Christine Brown would find another man. Not only has she found one, but she's also planning on marrying David Woolley soon. That could explain the photos of Cody posted from Gwendolyn Brown's wedding. He sat way off in a corner with Robin Brown looking rather grim. Reports from her wedding don't have him mingling too much with the crowd. Plus all the wedding, pictures released have Christine with the bride and standing where Cody, as the father of the bride should stand is David Woolley. Cody Brown's first love, his reality series. Cody is replaced and from what he said during his guy time this week on Sister Wives, he wondered if he'd become jealous. He couldn't come out with a solid, no, when asked if he thought jealousy would seep in. After what he said this week on the show, it sure looks like Cody felt a tinge of jealousy when his wife of three decades found someone else. It looks like we get at least a glimpse of Christine's new guy on this season of Sister Wives. One of her posts shows the camera crew at her house while David is there. So, scooping up your ex is one thing, but how will Cody feel if he needs to share the screen with Christine Brown's future husband? Many fans think his first love is the Sister Wives show because of the money it brings in. So, Cody Brown sharing something so coveted as his reality show with another man could really spark some jealousy. Fans bet sharing the TLC screen with another guy creates a green-eyed monster more than Christine finding someone new. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.